Rob, welcome to Bristol. How's the Northern Tour treated you and, and how are you guys looking forward to Friday night? Yeah, thanks very much. It's a joy to be here. We've had a, an amazing 10 days so far and uh, you know, our experience in Munster was pretty unique. Um, being able to play in Cork in, in front of 43,000 people on a, in a pre-season match it, it, with that intensity was magic for us and you know, we're very honoured to be here in Bristol and um, you know, welcomed by Pat and his, his staff has been fantastic and looking forward to Friday night to, to um, I guess, bed in the stuff that we can learn out of the Munster and then take it back to our competition start on the 23rd. Yeah, how does this, how does this fixture, how do these fixtures fit into your preparation for the new season that's, that's coming soon? Yeah, well, it's like uh, the alternative is to be playing in front of 500 people in Timaru uh, or something similar. So, you know, it's a rapid start. Obviously, the intensity and the, the comp competitive nature of these fixtures is well up on probably what we would be getting uh, in pre-season back in New Zealand. So there's some benefits there. And, um, you know, I think it will hold us in really good stead heading into our first competition game. So that, that's our hope. But there's obviously the travel, which we have to be mindful of. But, you know, good athletes, young men, they'll get over it and we'll be into it when, we're, when we get home. And Pat, you've spoken in the lead up to this game about relishing the challenge of facing a, a club of the calibre of the Crusaders. Why will Friday night be so special? Oh, I think just you mentioned the Crusaders, everyone in the world knows the Crusaders, just the history of what they've achieved. The, it's not only what they've achieved, it's the way they've done it um, on and off the field, um, the type of rugby they played, the, the people that they brought through, you know, all, all the things that we, we try to emulate. That's not just about becoming a, a really good rugby player, but a good person. And so to have, um, have Rob and the team come up here is a huge privilege for us. And it's a challenge that we're all looking forward to. Um, I think, you know, the type of rugby that they want to play, the type of rugby we want to play is going to be a great, be a great night, you know. Um, you know, both teams are really going out to, um, to, to entertain. We, we, we just had a great catch up and we're just talking about where the game is and the responsibility that we all have as coaches, uh, as players, as teams to, um, to really entertain all the key st stakeholders because we've got a great game. but. People want to see the game played in the right way, and, and we both certainly do. Both clubs want to, so no, it's it's going to be a great night. And you've both coached against each other in the Pro Tour from your, your days in Ireland. What what do you expect, Pat, from a, a team coached by Rob Penny? <laughs> well, look at him, tough, rugged. <laughs> uh, no no backwards. Step. Actually, I'll give you a story. When uh, my first time I played Canterbury. Uh, Rob's only a little bit older than me, and it was my debut. And Rob been around for a while. I was in a lineout, and boom! I got a, in those days. There's no TMOs, but he gave me a good a good whack, and I was thinking, all right, welcome to this level. What am I going to do about it? And uh, but it was a really good introduction to rugby at the next level. There, yeah, there's skill and and so forth, but you've got to be, you know, you got to be tough. And uh, and I think if uh, if uh, you know every time you, you play a team that's coached by Rob. Um, yeah, there'll be the skill and so forth, but there's going to be a real toughness and um, uh, a team that will be tough to beat. And uh, so uh, it's going to be a great challenge. And Rob, from your perspective, what are you expecting from Bristol Bears on Friday night? Well, again, I think Pat's legacy as a coach and as a player, fantastic player, goes without saying. Um, you know, everywhere he's gone, he's had success and, you know, having reconnected with Pat uh, recently, uh, that. that there's no doubt that his desire and passion to make sure the game's played, as he mentioned, in an appropriate way, so all the stakeholders stakeholders can benefit from it, is um, is obvious. So we're expecting a bit of razzle dazzle um, from his boys, and um, we'd like to think that you know we can add to that. And fans in this part of the world will be well aware of the, the careers of guys in your ranks like Owen Franks, Ryan Crotty, but from your perspective, who are the guys that they don't know about now but will know about in the next few years that they, they might see on Friday night? Yeah, well, it's, there's a group of them there that are, are hungry young men, fantastic athletes, and they will be household names of the future. There's, I won't mention any names because I don't want to put undue pressure on them, but they're, they're certainly 
All Blacks of the future and some of them will be in the, in the next World Cup and some of them will be in the World Cup afterwards. So Angus Gardner, our general manager, and Ray before me uh, and the coaching staff have, have put together a really good roster with a future focus on it. And, um, you know, rest assured that although some of the bigger names have moved on, it's like all the greatest organisations around the world, um, succession planning's critically important and you can see by having won seven in a row, it's not always the same players in every year. So there's, there's, there's some special things happening around that recruitment, retention. And the young boys that are playing on Friday night is, again, a reflection of what good work's been done in the last few years. And Pat, finally to you, we've welcomed South Africa to Ashton Gate, we've had the Barbarians there. How proud are you to be part of a club that continues to try and bring these big occasions to the sport? Yeah, it's special. I mean, this is, um, you know, what the vision is, you know, uh, and part of it is, you know, bringing world-class teams. Um, you know, for me personally, like, uh, you know, I was uh, in the first Crusaders uh, team and, um, and when you, whenever you see the Crusaders play, and it's, it's, it's special for anyone that's been involved. So for them to actually come here and play at uh, Ashton Gate uh, for people here to see it who only normally watch it on TV, uh, it's going to be a special night and uh, encourage everyone if you can to get down there uh, because uh, not only be good rugby but it'll be a good night.